His resting place is the same place he grew up and became a legend. He is the most famous horse to come out of Sagamore Farm and one of the most extraordinary race horses ever. And he had a tremendous following, a lot of fans and fan clubs. And probably because uh, one of the reasons was because he was a winner. He won 21 of his 22 races. He had $785,000 in earnings. He was horse of the year in 1952 and 1954. He was on the cover of Time magazine. Native Dancer won the hearts of Americans, not only because of his winning record. It was a different time when horses were star athletes, and he was the one that you could spot instantly on the television, thanks to his looks and his size. He was a big horse, a powerful horse, over 16 hands, a huge back, with a tremendous stride. His stride was measured at 29 feet which is about seven feet longer than the average thoroughbred. But the legacy of this big gray horse isn't buried underneath his tombstone. It's very much alive. His blood races through the horses at Sagamore today. In fact, it races through most thoroughbred horses. It's, you're hard pressed to find a, a horse uh, that doesn't go back to Native Dancer, you know, through his sons or daughters. Or the spirit of the Grey Ghost lives through stories, pictures on the wall, and gleaming trophies. The people at Sagamore Farm are proud of this history. They don't want to just protect it, they want to repeat it. And, uh, I think that's really important, too, that we, um, you know, we preserve this and tell the story of Native Dancer for future, uh, you know, generations and, and also save it for the Community. It's one of the reasons they sponsor the stakes that bear the horse's name. Now, there's no way this magnificent history will be lost. Native Dancer's owner, Alfred Vanderbilt, had a passion for horse racing. Much of his life was in these stables. Uh, he kept his horses in Maryland, even though at the time everybody was in Kentucky. He believed in Maryland and kept his horses here. And now we have Kevin Plank, who's passionate about Maryland and Baltimore. The devotion to horse racing will live on, just like the legacy of this farm's most famous horse. Megan Pringle, Sagamore TV.